Most people with epilepsy have well-controlled epilepsy um, uh, and the medication they're taking controls the seizures. In patients with poorly controlled epilepsy, uh, it's often useful in trying different combinations of medicines, but there are some very difficult epilepsies, often starting in early childhood, uh, where medication alone is not shown to control the seizures completely. Some complementary therapies are useful, and one of those is a famous diet called the ketogenic diet. That diet um, introduces high uh, fat and protein intake and very low carbohydrate, so avoiding things such as bread and cereals. This induces in uh, the child's metabolism a change so it's slightly more uh, acidotic. And this has an effect on seizures, can, can bring seizures under control. A diet such as that is really suitable only for young children whose only source of food comes from their parents. It's very difficult to have to stick to that diet completely. There is a modified version of the diet called the Atkins diet, which was originally introduced for weight loss and was quite successful, uh, popular in the United States. This has some of the metabolic actions of the ketogenic diet, and it has been used to see whether adults can have better control of their epilepsy. There are certainly some studies suggesting that the diet, the Atkins diet, can produce better control of epilepsy. It would be important to speak to your doctor if you wanted to try this and perhaps to work with a dietitian to find out how to introduce the Atkins diet. It may have other health benefits in reducing weight as well. But like all diets, it does require a fair bit of work.